Hello. Hi. Good to see you there. My name is Darren LeDuc, and welcome to the Thai Lab at the Salk Institute. The Thai Lab is a behavioral neuroscience lab. We're specifically interested in how the activities in the brain affects and underlie behavior. Specifically, we're interested in systems neuroscience, which is a type of neuroscience that looks at how circuits in the brain communicate with each other. These circuits are composed of brain cells called neurons and thus are called neural circuits. We're actually interested in how neural circuits underlie behaviors such as social interaction, motivation for getting a reward, anxiety, depression, and schizophrenia. By understanding how these circuits are organized in the brain and how they strengthen as you learn and move about your everyday life, we can also learn how to change these neural circuits and alter the behavior in a positive way. Thus, understanding how the neural circuits in the brain control different types of behavior allows to develop treatments for depression and other types of mental illnesses. Sounds like fun. Let's check it out. Here's our lab space where we run many different types of exciting experiments. This is where we can collect data to test the different hypotheses that we have about the brain. There are many different spaces that we have in our lab that can run different types of experiments. Let's see what people are working on. This is our arts and crafts area where we build a lot of custom tools for our experiments. Here is a postdoc in the lab, Kyle. Hey Kyle, what are you working on? Hi Darren, uh, well I'm here in the arts and crafts section and this is where we build a lot of different components necessary for us to run our experiments. We build things like electrodes for recording from neurons, or design and build viral tools with some of our uh, cool DNA stuff, and sometimes we design our own components and then print them out with our fun 3D printer. Let's go see what Lord Cornelius Printing Pin is working on right now. And here's our histology area, where we prepare brain slices for imaging. And this is Matilda, one of our research technicians. Let's see what she's working on. Hey Matilda, what's up? Oh hey Darren, welcome to RNA land. I'm currently running a technique called RNA scope. RNA scope is a technique that allows us to scan for different RNA in brain tissue and see where it's localized in the brain. Right now, for example, I'm seeing for two types of dopamine receptors. These receptors allow for signaling of the chemical molecule dopamine, which is a molecule associated with reward. Through this process, I'm able to progressively label the RNA of these receptors in different colors and later visualize them using this high-resolution microscope. Here, let me show you an example I did a few days ago. In this image, you can see the RNA of different receptors labeled in red and green. And the blue here is just a stain that we use to label the brain cells. That sounds awesome. Thanks so much, Matilda. You're welcome. And this is our patching area, where one of our postdocs, Austin, is currently working. Hey, Austin, can you tell us about your project? Oh, hi, Dad. I'm studying the cellular mechanisms involved in depression. And in order to do that, I use a technique called whole cell transplant electrophysiology, where we can record the electrical properties of a neuron, which is important for cell-cell communication. You can record voltage or current. And here is an example of neuron, which, from which I just recorded. Isn't it beautiful? That's so cool. Thanks, Austin. So once we collect our data, we often have to analyze it using different software tools to test our hypotheses. These analyses can take a lot of computational power, so we get to use some pretty cool looking computers. Let's see what kind of analysis Chris is working on. Chris is a graduate student in our lab. Hey, what's going on? Hey Darren. I'm analyzing data from a technique called calcium imaging, and we use uh, calcium imaging to measure the activity of, of neurons. And so here we can see are different neurons in a brain region called the central amygdala during social behavior. As neurons become more active and calcium enters the cell, they light up. That's awesome. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome. And that was our lab. There's still so little that we understand about the brain, despite it being a huge part of our bodies, our lives, and our world. 
by using the different techniques I just showed you, you can dream up a ton of different ways to investigate the brain and what it does. Thanks for watching, and I hope you can visit us in person again one day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.